Hey. 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 Come on. Wake up. Uh, wake up. Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Ah. Uh, God. My leg is jammed. It's jammed in here. Here, let me help you. That's broken. That's broken. I'm kind of stuck on that bloody rudder pedal. Anything I can do? Uh, I'll see if there's a first aid kit around, will you? Should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, it's not gonna last forever, though. Oh, where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio mast. Mayday, Mayday, this is Alpha Romeo Lima. I crashed south of Deception. Uh, coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday, do you read? Do you think you can move? Well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. And the plane's in no fit state either. Oh, I reckon I saved her from the worst of it, actually. She's gonna need some help getting her up again. Hey, hey. See that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts. Deception point, that should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I can see it. So can you make it? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. We'd well, rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death. Uh, we, 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 we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your fairy godmother's not gonna magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? How far away do you think it is? It could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Uh, <coughs> flares. You keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour to help you get your bearings. Hey! Hey, you here? Uh, I'm here. I'm here! Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can. You just... Mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's 10 below zero. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yeah. Best of British luck.
Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> That's my fault. There's too many books. Oh, that's what's in here. Oh. Well, uh, there you go. Teamwork. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right, thank you. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're, you're marking all of that? I'm trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Well, um, feel free to complain to me if it helps. <laughs> it might, thank you. Uh, long journey? Yes, all the way from Edinburgh. Where are you headed? Cambridge. And you are too, I can see that. Uh, is it the shoes? No. I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? Your book. It fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> the formulation of complex cloud patterns, G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. You've... you've read it? I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Ah. Oh. Uh, enjoying it? I am, very much. Thank you. Dr. Hamilton. Clara McCarrick. How do you do? Doctor. Oh, your uh, bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry, it's just a just a telegram. Oh, your uh, your telegram, it's sorry. Not, it's nothing. Just something from my professor. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? It's completely fine, really. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work. <laughs> like we're still at school. <laughs> I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future. Deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. Uh, you... Welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Oh, uh, hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of undergraduates. Well, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. <sighs> oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you?
Is anybody here? So, do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. You can leave if you like. It's over. Or... Do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, yes? Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you were too bad. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. I can get a bit carried away sometimes. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my beautiful subject, like you. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Sounds like a passionate bunch. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll let you be the star. Well, thank you. I'll just go see to this mob and... Give you time to gather your papers?